Hi all, I wanted to talk with you about why do we want to seek God only when we're disabled or just become disabled. The title might change but pay attention, always pay attention to the title, not to what I've just said. No, 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 what, not on what I've said when I, t when I'm, when I mention the titles. So, basically, I'll tell you a story that I saw on a, on a television, on a Christian television, because before I, before I crack on into my, into, into my inspirations, basically, this, there was a guy, he, he I think a lady was praying for him to be saved, you know, and things like that and uh, yeah and you know the guy the guy was able bodied you know he was able to do his thing you know he was able to he was a farmer he was able to do his thing and and do his own work do 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 day to day activities but he and he wasn't really following God at all but it wasn't until his his arm got crushed 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 into a one of those 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 machines that that crushes up and 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 takes out weed wheat wheat because those wheat grains they take out take out the, the seed from the wheat grain so we can eat it like flour and that, that kind of stuff and bread and all that kind of stuff it was like a it was like a one of those hay farmers I don't know, don't know what you call it those I don't know what you call it, but one of those farmers that 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 taking seeds for hay. So basically, yeah, he got disabled. His his arm, his arm got caught in the in the machine, and he he lost his arm, lost his arm, and and that's all he lo he lost really. Just he's, now he's got one one fully working arm and one fully working hand. So you know he. After all that, he he decided to become a Christian as well, and he, uh, you know, that's that's one one that's one story. But he only the, the 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 significant thing is that he only became a Christian because because he lost his arm because he was disabled, and what I'm trying to say is basically you know should we really is it only because of suffering that's why we 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 want to we want to see god it's only in, is it only in suffering that we want to see god and seek 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 the the understanding of god and, and want to worship him why can't we worship god when 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 things are going perfectly fine because this is what i did when i was a, when i was a Christian, you know, when I wasn't a Christian, I I served God when I decided to become a Christian. When I when I when everything was going well for me, everything was perfect, you know, and that's how I served God. But you know, not everybody is going to get that chance to you know be able to be able to serve God and be able to be able to be able to say to God, you know on the deathbed to say that you know I want to serve you God not every not everybody is going to be able to be able to say, have their last words on their deathbed some will, will never get the chance it's it's different for different people it all depends on God so it's not all it's not all it's not all of us or not not everybody that's may, may, may be listening to me is ever going to get that significant that significant chance to be able to say you know to be able to become a christian on their deathbed i know most people convert convert on the deathbed but not everybody gets that chance to to do that some people get run over by a bus as soon as they get saved they get run over by a bus or something or even when they reject god they they get killed as well after right after leaving a church i've heard things like that before when one guy he didn't become a christian he, he he rejected the altar call to become a Christian, and then the ne the next day he got run over by a bus and he got killed. 
I mean, you could say that to me. That's an accident, you know. I, I, you know, you could you, you could easily be saying to me, "Is is God? Does God want to, want to kill that person? Does why would God want to kill that person? You know, are you saying that God kills people for? for are you saying that God kills people for rejecting Him? It's not what I'm trying to say. Is that when when God calls us to when when God when God calls us to serve Him, and when we reject Him. God, God, when, when you, when you, the moment you come into a church service to be, to bring, to, to become a, become a Christian, you get protected, and then when you reject God, God removes His hand of protection. Sometimes He removes His hands of, of protection upon our lives, and then the devil comes, comes along and takes somebody's life, and takes people's lives, and and kills them. Because the the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy our lives, not just our lives, just our our identity in Christ and our identity in the world. So, you know, it's not a good thing to to wait to become disabled and then and then serve God. You know, why not serve God while you why while whilst you're fully capable? I understand. I suppose I can understand the reason for why people don't want to serve God until until they become disabled is I think it's a dependency because I think that person wants to find a reason to depend on God you know you know when we're human beings and, and we got our own and, and when we're human beings and we're capable of doing all sorts of things all variety of tasks and we have no limits and we're we're like we're like gods. We're like superhuman beings. When we've got that capability in us, and we don't need to depend on it, we, we don't need to depend on anyone. That's when it, it comes to our own mindset and our own, own minds, and we start to we start to think that you know, I don't need God. I don't need this. I don't need to rely rely on somebody because I'm capable of doing these things myself. So why should I re rely on a God that that is going to take care of me when I can do it better than when I can do it better than God, you know. So I can understand what you, what you, what you guys and ladies are thinking and saying that you know, because I'm, I'm not disabled, I'm capable. Because I'm not disabled, but when, when, when I become disabled, then we'll, we'll you know, we'll talk about that another time. That's probably what some people might be think, might be thinking or wondering. But yeah, so I think that yeah, I think I better cut it. I better finish it there because my mind's starting to go quiet. I mean, my mind's going blank, I should say. But yeah, that's all I have to say for today, and. God bless, peace be with you, and as always, stay clicked. Ciao.